Let me show you how to spot a real genuine man of God. Proverbs 14, verse number 3. I want you to see how to spot a genuine man of God and woman of God. In the mouth of the foolish is a rod of pride, but the lips of the wise shall preserve them. Mm, 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 mm. Where no oxen are, the crib is clean. But much increase is by the strength of the ox. If you see a man of God where they are not maligning, saying bad things about, he has no power. He says when there is oxen in the crow, there will be dung in there. There is debt that they can talk about. They missed that. <laughs> no, they are not getting this. Where no oxen are, much increase comes by the strength of the oxen. So power is in the ox. But when you go to the crib of the ox, you also see cow dung. But if you don't see cow dung, there is no ox. So you want power? Look for a man with cow dung. You are not hearing me. Look for a woman of God that they are saying all kind of things against him. Now you have power. You don't see? If somebody is a football here and they are moving, I don't know whether it's called dribbling, and they are running like this, it's not like all the other players are going to the goalkeeper. No, they are chasing the one with the ball. If you're not fighting the devil, you're walking side by side. You don't fight side by side. Mm. You fight. Now your problem is simple. You don't know. You're looking for a man who is clean. The oxen are in a crow that is dirty. You find the dirty, you found the power of the ox. But if you don't want the dirty, you have no power of the ox. The Bible says Jesus, who suffered many contradictions against himself. In other words, for you, in a layman's terms, let me come back to your level. He suffered many contradictions against himself. In other words, even the sinners called him a sinner. That's when you suffer contradictions against yourself. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself. <laughs> Hebrews 12, 3. Such contradictions of sinners against himself. The technology of priesthood takes what is not possible now because it is only in heaven where the will of God has already been enacted. But on earth it is not enacted. So what do I do? Ladies and gentlemen, I get to a point where I look for the technology of priesthood. That's why he made us kings and priests. We are priests because priests are the ones that work for God. Now look, Saul killed all the prophets until God was not even speaking to him using the Urim and the Tumim. Those stones on the garments of the, of the, of the priests with technology, it was a radio system. One would glow, another would glow, and they would be able to tell that this one, that was God's most God. No, no, you don't understand. The priests had 12 stones on their breasts. Those 12 stones, when they needed to hear God, and there was no prophet, they would come out and spread their hands like this, and they would glow, and it would tell them what God is saying. That is called the Urim and the Tumim. And the Bible says, Saul killed all the prophets until God even refused to speak to him through the Urim and the Tumim. Why was he killing the prophets? Every time a person wants to take over from you, they kill the priests. And they would kill the prophets. Why? Because the prophets would speak to the priest and the priest would be sacrificing and the prophet would hear from God after the altar and then speak what the word of God was. Your problem is this, that you've killed the prophets. The Bible says the time of visitation is near, Hosea. The time of visitation is what? Is near. The prophet is seen as a fool. And the spiritual man is considered a madman. The days of punishment have come. The days of God recompensing his people. Israel shall know it 
Africa shall know it. The world shall know it. For the prophet is called a fool. And the spiritual man is called mad. Because of the multitude of your sins. That's why you think a prophet is a fool. So the devil has even brought into the... And you have generals. Even archbishops are appearing in movies to discredit Christianity. I understand when fake apostles do it. But when archbishops start doing it, when bishops start doing it, that are well respected in the realm, while it's they are highlighting a fault, they are also messing up. Because they are telling the world that it's okay, they believe there is this fake movement. Yes, there is. But it is nothing compared to the actual thing. If you teach people fake stuff, they won't know when the real comes. Because fake things come in many forms. But real currency, real money is, you know, you know when, when the bank tellers are trained, they're not trained to spot fake currencies. They are trained on what the real money looks like. So that when the fake comes, they can see it. But we are producing even movies, even financing movies that talk again as apostles, talk again as prophets, talk again as pastors. Do you know what? Now Christianity is lost. People think everyone is faking. And Christians are excited when a preacher is only able to talk without power. They say this one is the genuine one. And anyone who becomes spiritual. Some of you bring your boyfriends here to church and your girlfriends here to church. And when the prophet begins to prophesy and preach, you say, hallelujah. The boyfriend said, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> calm down, man, calm down. <laughs> I've seen so many people. I'll be moving with these guys here. And, and the man will be standing by his wife like this. Then the wife catches the unction. You can literally see the man is like, don't ever fall. We have problems at home. The lady is shaking. It's about to go down. And the husband is like, no, 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 no. Don't go anywhere. He will be struggling to keep her up. Why? Don't, don't, don't disappoint me here. You are embarrassing me. The second round I do, they the ones who are crying. They are now on the ground. Their husband now is on the ground. Priesthood is all about persuasion. Fire on the altar. You are a priest. <laughs>